What's going on, everybody? Okay, so today um, I'm going to fix one minor issue, and it's very, very minor. I'm not saying this is some kind of major thing, but a minor issue that I had with the installation of the 12 volt solutions remote start. Now again, it has nothing to do with the remote start functionality or anything like that. It's more of a cosmetic thing. And uh, I actually had to remove something to install this and the wiring kind of didn't make it go back together great. So if I reinstall what I had to mo remove, everything should be kosher. Let me get the camera turned around, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, if you look right here, you can see these cracks, especially right here. There's a pretty big crack in this clamshell that I had to take apart. Now, if you see if I push on it, that crack kind of goes away. Um, that's a pretty decent sized crack and that kind of bothers me. And I assume that probably has to do with the wires that I had to run down through here and they were big thick connectors and stuff like that. And it probably just kind of pushes down on this. Now there's two screws back here, um, back in behind the steering wheel right here that actually hold this together. So it's not gonna pop apart. So I'm not worried about that, but that gap right there kind of bothers me. And there's a way to fix that and I'm fixing to show you how to do it right now. Okay, now you've seen me install this before and I'm not trying to show y'all how to install this again. I'm trying to show you how to fix this issue right here if you install the 12 volt solutions remote start and you have that gap. Um, you can actually buy these from Tough Skins and if you use discount code GEARRUNNER10, you can save 10% off your order. Um, but this right here actually goes around your ring right here and uh, it's, it's actually for, you know, aesthetics reasons. I have the, the carbon fiber on the rings and stuff right here, and I have it on my doors. And I did this just kind of to uh, accent that. But now I've actually found a real purpose for putting this on other than aesthetics. And it's gonna be to close that gap or at least hide that gap. Um, hopefully I can kind of push this together and put this on and it'll help um, actually close that gap. But if nothing else, this will hide it. And of course, the first thing we wanna do is clean it good with alcohol. Now, I just armor all this truck and I came out yesterday and I actually cleaned this with alcohol yesterday and uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm trying to get most of that armor all off so this will actually stick good to this. I don't want it to uh, have a bunch of greasy stuff on it. So I cleaned it once yesterday, let it dry good. And I'm just gonna clean it again right now. I found out if you armor all your vehicle and even if you clean it good, sometimes you still can't get it all off. So you wanna clean it multiple times really, really well and really clean it good to get in those grooves to, uh, to get that armor all off of it. Okay, if it's not come off now, it's not going to. And there's actually a big gap down here. It's just not situated right. So we're just gonna open this, peel this off, and I wanna show you what it's gonna look like. You can see right there, it will completely hide that big gap right here. And I'm the one at the top, you probably aren't gonna be able to completely hide this up through here, but this one isn't bad that comes up this way. It's just that one right there around the ignition switch that I don't like. So after holding this up here, I'm probably not even gonna to try to worry about squeezing that back together because it pretty well completely covers it anyway. This is always the hardest part, trying to uh, trying to peel off the back, but believe it or not, I actually do have fingernails today. There we go, pretty easy this time. Now all we gotta do is get it centered where we want it like so just rub that around like that right there everything looks good and it hides that big gap let me show you take you off the tripod show you okay now you can still see there's a gap right here you're always going to have some kind of small gap it ain't going to fit perfect but um it did hide all the big gaps right here and the big one up here uh, like i said it just has that one back there and that's kind of back there in the back it's not really sticking out but um, it did hide the major gaps and it will take some of the pressure off this, I do believe. Um, if that's trying to separate or anything like that, um, this will help hold that together as well. Again, there's just a bunch of huge uh, connectors underneath this after I put that in and it just kind of 
push this clamshell apart. But um, I think that looks way better, and uh, I got my accent piece back as well. So that kind of is a is a double double edged sword right there. It serves two purposes. Okay, there you go. So I'm not trying to show you a mod that I've already done. Don't take it that way. That's not the way I'm doing it. I was just trying to show you that there is a piece to kind of help hide that gap if you install that 12 volt solutions. Um, but like I said, I, I didn't do this to, to show you uh, how to install that a second time. I did this that if you install this and you see that gap, there is a pretty cost effective way to fix that issue. Again, I'll link Tough Skins in the description below. Use discount code GEARRUNNER10 to save 10% off your order. Pick one of these up and get rid of that unsightly gap. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.